we are about to board a flight on 777 from Dubai to Lahore, Pakistan. I haven't been back there in close to 30 years. Alia was there earlier this year. This is going to be an experience for us. Uh, we may or may not be able to make a video. Not sure what the etiquettes are. Let's check it out. This is a two-class uh, Boeing 777. Two-class. How cool is that? Our gate is C11, so we're going to continue walking this way. Head to our gate. People lining up to go inside C11, which is our flight to Pakistan again. Uh, I might be putting down the camera a lot in this one because I don't know the proper etiquettes, but I'm trying to film my family on a travel vlog, so hopefully I don't get yelled at. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. That's our flight to Lahore on a 777 in economy. Last time you were telling me that you were here, you rushed in, right? I know, yeah. Like you rushed, you got in that line and then you ran into that glass chamber. This time around, you're, you're not in a rush to go in? It's not worth it because uh, here they just scan you in and they just let you in and you wait inside until they call the names. I made that mistake last time and when you get inside, it's very crowded and it gets really warm and suffocating. And they take their good time to call, start boarding people. So this time I learned from my mistake, we are not in a rush to get in there. When everybody's inside and when we see people start boarding, we're going to go in and then we're going to be ready to board. I haven't been to Pakistan in close to 30 years, so I'm looking for Alia for all, all her expertise. She actually made a quick trip to Pakistan back in May uh, to visit her mom. And again, I have not been. So hopefully if you're like me and not experienced and you're boarding a plane from Dubai, don't rush into the glass. I call it the glass cage because you'll get stuck there. It'll be crowded. Just sit outside. Don't worry, they're not gonna leave without you, right, Isa? Yeah. They're not gonna leave without you. But look at the lines behind. There's like people just like rushing to board, but all you're doing is going into that glass box. Almost everybody's in. Actually, it's pretty empty inside too, so now we're gonna board our flight. What are you gonna do on the two hour flight? Well, take a nap or relax or play games. There's our bird in the back. They've announced uh, the F boarding. And so we're going to chance it to see if this suitcase, the carry-on, can fit in. Otherwise, it'll be checked with the rest of the luggage. This is exciting. All right, we are boarding. By the way, this bridge is really nice. The, the luxury of boarding in Dubai. Carpeted, beautiful, wide, with glass so you can check out your plane. Oh look, so our seat number is 10, last time it was 21, or 20, was it 20? 20. 20. I'm sure the configuration is different, they have probably less service than last seat. You're right, our right. seat number is 10, but 4 in the middle together. And how are we sitting? Is it his? Same? Same. His, Azar, Alia, or you want to sit with? Mom. No, 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 mom should be with Isa just in case, you know? Okay, look at that giant engine. I don't know if it's a GE. And then, yeah, entering a 777 with a giant Emirates lettering on it. Alright, look at this plane configuration. As soon as you enter, it's just nice and open rather than like business class right away. I got okay. it. One, two, say cheese. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Here, check that out. It's a two class. It's a two class triple seven, and when you enter, it's wide and open. So we are row ten. Um, this is amazing, and the staff was so nice at the door, talking to us, welcoming us, and taking pictures with us. So far, the boarding has been pretty good, right? You got it. You got to take a picture with uh, the air hostess. That's yeah. very cool. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. 
Oh. Yeah, no, it's pretty heavy. We are seated in our 777-300, but this is no usual 777-300. I can give you a peek. Uh, I'll see I can do it without getting in trouble. I'm going to lift the camera and you will see a small gap and the Emirates logo. Hold on, let me see. Okay. So when you enter the plane, this is a two-class 777-300. There are very few of these for Emirates. And what does that mean? When you enter wide open, no tight business class, no kitchen galley. It's just completely open. It is, what a treat, you know? And, and even the staff here said that this is a unique 777-300 that we are in. Kiz is finishing his book. And we're going to tell you and show you guys well, how the flight goes. It's only two and a half hours, so it's going to be a quick, short video. Boarding is almost complete. Isa and Ali are playing some games. Uh, I will say the staff, again, is extremely helpful. I even saw them moving their own um, equipment up in the bins to make room for you know, extra luggage because they're running out of space but like this staff is phenomenal. You have a USB and then one of the seats has a full on electrical outlet and this one has just USB and then this one has a full electrical outlet. So it's every other seat has electrical outlet, nice comfortable seats, plenty of room. They give you blankets, pillows, um, headphones and most importantly is the staff of Emirates. I've seen uh, one of the air hostess goes on her knees trying to help somebody with their luggage. The, they always have a smile ready to go and some of the passengers it's not easy to deal with but they never lose that smile which is awesome. So now we're about to take off and we'll pick it up once we're in the air. So we are in the air now. Chris and I were playing Battleship. That's a face of somebody who just lost a game. <laughs> and uh, it's only a two hour flight, but you know, actually it's nice and quiet. Like, this is what we're missing in the United States a two hour flight or two and a half hour flight that is using a white body triple seven like what a treat you know you got starry night ceiling comfortable seats pillows for, for a two and a half hour flight pillow now we did took off at 4 10 a.m uh, we landed in dubai around 11 and so for the past five hours or so we were walking around make sure you do check out the full episode on terminal 3 the b and c gates and our episode on using the priority pass for marhaba lounge which one of the smallest lounges we've ever seen on an international airport for now we're gonna uh, chill and show you guys if there is any meal or snacks that they serve but so excited to be part of a unique uh, 777 300 with only two class uh, and a giant gold Emirates logo in front of me That looks pretty good. And then the first main course is sausage, potatoes, and omelette.
this is now the breakfast for adults. So what do we have? You got your fruit, vermicelli or savanya in Urdu, the water breakfast cake, bread, chicken, chicken chana masala. This is prata. And this looks like halwa and I'm hoping that it's sweet halwa. Let's dig in. <laughs> yeah, let's dig in for the fourth time. Four? Six. Six time. So we are approaching Lahore. I hope you guys um, had a fun uh, trip coming with us yeah flight with us uh, the food was actually pretty good uh, our second meal from um, uh, in the previous episode that we posted was I would say the best uh, but for this Dubai to Lahore flight uh, the food was good the staff I think that's the all-star the curtains are open uh, Alia is um, filling out the landing card, arrival card, and look, they're opening the window. We're about to land in about 24 minutes. Uh, we are uh, a little ahead of schedule. We will land 13, 14 minutes before our arrival time. As we head out, uh, we will uh, put a little clip of us walking through this two-class configuration so you can see how wide and open uh, this uh, 777-300 is. It, it is a very, very rare uh, airplane. And here is a little peek of that. Okay. On that lovely note, Alia, bye for now. Oh my god, these cars, you know what these buggies? Dude. You know what they remind me of? Uh, no, Amsterdam, the bicycles. Like they're just constant, oh, uh, but the yeah. guy has his hand on the horn.